I mean, the government's lying about it through their teeth. Look at the look at the the sailors on the Ronald Reagan, Christina. Yeah, those men and women, they're all getting thyroid cancer. They're all getting sick. That some of them have died. You know, they they have some of them are getting getting heart conditions and all these other uh, physiological conditions. And a, a lot of this stuff, it, when you research it, if not all of it, can be traced back to be you know high levels of radiation exposure. And the government's like, no, 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 you're fine. You went through a plume. But you're fine. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, it's really terrible what's happened to them in particular. And there's been a few of them, too, have gone on and had children since then. And the babies have been born with birth defects. And now they're part of this lawsuit as well. But there were 70,000 active service members in that region when those plants were exploding. You know, not just the guys that were on all the ships, and it wasn't just one ship. It was like a couple of carriers besides the Reagan, uh, a bunch of support ships, and um, all the helicopters that were flying from the ships into shore and bringing the blankets and the water and the stuff for the people who had been displaced and, you know, their homes were destroyed. And, you know, they, they thought they were doing a good thing, and then they all start getting sick, and, you know, there was a lot of weirdness going on on the ship. And then they wanted to dock because so many of the sailors were sick on these ships and nobody would let them into port in any of the, the countries in that region because they knew the ships were radioactive. How crazy is that? That nobody would let them pull into port. But hey, there's nothing wrong with the there's nothing you don't you don't talk about that. You don't have any radiation poisoning, no, you just shut up and die vet. That's a, that's that's basically what they're doing. They don't care. I mean, if 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 this isn't the most anti-recruiting ad you could possibly ever have for not joining the military, it would be go look at what happened to the U.S. Navy personnel and the U.S. Marine Corps personnel and Air Force and any Army personnel that were over there too, or Coast Guardsmen, because I know all five of them, all, all five branches are all over, uh, all over around that area. So. You know, whoever, I mean, what you know, what you're told is only a fraction of who is actually exposed. And I think you, you actually brought that, that point up very, uh, very well. It wasn't just the, the Reagan. I mean, it was, if the Reagan was exposed, remember the Reagan is part of a, a carrier group, you know, a battle group. There's other ships with them. They don't, they don't just let Mama Bear go off by herself unprotected. A carrier only has its, its planes and any helicopters for protection. It yeah, it, there was. It would need it would need other ships. So yeah, you're right. All those other sailors are exposed too. That's horrible. And Marines and anybody else on board the ships, civilians too. Yeah, and the Geigers were just screaming when these guys came back into the ship, and they had to go through decontamination. And their decontamination like protocol wasn't followed. Like there, we have video of what was going on in those rooms. And, I mean, the, the Geigers are just going off like crazy as they're running the probes over, over their vests and their helmets and their boots. And they were just, like, stripping off their clothes and throwing it into a big pile in the room. And so they were basically, like, scattering this radiation now into the air, too, which they're breathing in again, although they were already breathing in when they were, you know, on the deck of the ship and when they were flying through the plumes or actually being, you know, on, on shore with some of their rescue missions. But, you know, it's even people that are just at bases, some of their children and their, the, the wives or, you know, girlfriends of some of the service members. Um, I think you have to be married though, to live on a base together. Uh, they're, they were getting sick too. And they never even went in the region. They were just on the, you know, on the main Island of Japan. So we, we have kind of that focus group and it like, spreads out from there and they're in this huge lawsuit now against TEPCO to try to get TEPCO to actually put together a fund for their medical costs which are just going to be astronomical you know these guys were were exposed to like MOX fuel at like close range but MOX fuel particles were also picked up in air filters in Norway during that time and those particles blew over us in the states so there's a lot of people that probably inhaled that here too That motherfucker is upset. Look, he looks like he's about to die. That's one of them. 
Look at his face, bro. Look at his face. Like you really see his face. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that is the jacket the GJ just rolled around on the flight deck with. It says Dub all over it. Because <laughs> it's not his. Wait, here goes my foot right there. This is crazy. Here's my foot, Dub. Does it say dub on it? Does it say booker? I'm just asking. Did you have a did you have a camo on? Yeah. He was wearing He was wearing dubs. He wasn't even wearing his own. You This is bad shit. They could have come to see it. kind of crazy. Dude. Like, when in your life will you ever get to do this shit again? Besides the nuclear holocaust. Yeah. Look, we die and then we take it, we take it videos of it. Hey, if we die, we're having fun doing it, God damn it. I'll accept her. Hooker is not having fun, I tell you that. His face is not happy. He looks so serious right now. The dude looks serious at him. He looks like he's about to die. Hey, what's the name on that? What, what's the, can, what's can, the name on that coat? Can we get the name on the coat so we'll know? That's hook, it's either mine or hookers. What does it say? It has a name on it. Oh, it's good. Yeah, my hood.